What's up, Hindu? Peter from Andy here. Hey, I just uh, bought this watch. It's OTS. I've had OTSs uh, before and I've really liked them, so I thought I'd pick this one up to show it to you. And maybe give away if you want to stick to the end of the video and find out if I do or not. Hint, hint. Uh, but comes with this little OTS booklet here. Starhead.com. You can pick this up on Amazon. That's where I picked it up. And, you know, the OTS watches are pretty nice sport watch. And obviously... You know, they are heavily influenced by another watch that I really like, or another brand of watches that I really like called Palada and Suntu. More so Suntu, just because that's a $300 watch. But if you don't want to spend $300 and you want to have um, a similar look and feel, definitely check this out. So first of all, let's kind of start on this end because this OTS buckle is definitely kind of unique. Big, wide tongue here. Uh, you know, it's not... A super high-end buckle but it's absolutely it's unique so they're not using something from the general partsman you have a rubber strap here it's really thin it's definitely stiffer but it's it's thin so it's gonna flex quite a bit and some ribbing up here and as it flares out to meet the case it's obviously you know um, there's looks like there's a pin right there but it's it's made to be flush to the case which gives it a nice finished look um, you know on the on the finish end of things obviously you can see the seam there so it's maybe not quite as uh, you know, polished as a $300 watch or something like that. But, you know, that's kind of a little bit of the trade-off. But it looks pretty good, and at a glance, you don't see it. And then a very similar thing here. And then, obviously, the cutouts are very, very wide. The nice thing about the, the wide cutouts here for, obviously, the wide tongue is that these cutouts are also going to help the band breathe. You know, my issue with rubber and plastic straps a lot of times is that I get a kind of a clammy wrist under there. So the more cuts you have, the more kind of recesses you have or fluting or like this, that all helps to vent it out a little bit and keep it a more comfortable watch to wear. On the front here, you have a pretty big dial. I would say this is a 50 millimeter, you know, case, um, round, very, you know, round, which helps make it not feel as big and is nice to the touch. It has um, some cuts right here along the bezel. It doesn't move or anything all fixed you obviously have a little bit of texturing on the two buttons on this side and then the three buttons on this side and then you have a, or kind of a, a domed crown or domed crystal right there I'm, I'm assuming just mineral or plastic but maybe plastic more than anything else but it's just slightly curved not not very dramatically but you can kind of see that and then obviously the LCD screen on here is kind of reversed it's uh, it, it's the black background um, kind of frames out these punched out letters and numbers. So that's kind of interesting. We're actually on the stopwatch here, so somehow I got over off of the time. But, you know, it gives you the day, date, uh, time. So we've got month, day here. It looks like the hour chime is on right there. It says Wednesday, 8, 12 p.m. And it gives you this little kind of matrix style, you know, box is what I've noticed. And I don't know that it that i think these shapes reference this number obviously they're changing every second but you know you'd have to wait to see if that 33 shape is actually the same shape every time i kind of assume it would be you have a couple little like luminous pips up here so um you know you and you have degrees on this outer outer bezel which kind of you know angles in here a little bit so you could use this you know for a little bit of orienteering presumably you would need a compass which i don't believe this actually has but if you had your own compass you could use that uh the mode down here gets you to stopwatch looks like it's been running a while if i start it again stop reset down here if i start it i think i can probably split with that bottom yep stop it again reset it it's going to take me back to the main screen. If I hit it again, I can probably scroll through here to, to the alarm where I can set that. And then I get to that fourth mode, which is setting the different times. And so you use the bottom button to kind of scroll through the options and then use this button to advance through different options. So not going to do all that at the moment. Obviously, we're on 24-hour time at the moment because it says 013. But, um, you know, if you're into military time, that's great. Good for you, man. Now it looks like this button here is a light. And as you can see, the kind of the cool thing is because of that, like I said, the way that LCD is set up, where it's almost reversed from most LCDs, 
where the, the numbers are punched out, it looks like you get a little bit of this Indiglo effect that lights up only the light. So it's kind of nice for not lighting up everything, especially if you're out in the darkness, you're in a tactical situation, you know, you can just light up your numbers. Um, that might be a little more subtle and a little more useful in, you know, tactical, hunting, whatever, outdoors, trying to bird watch, who knows? But uh, you get that. Um, and it looks like this button up here also is the light as well. So you have a couple ways of activating that. So really cool watch. I think this OTS watch gives you just a ton of look, style, should be pretty durable, and doesn't cost you soon uh, to like money, right? I mean, I have a fairly generous wrist, seven and a seven to seven and a half inch inches, but this is no bigger than my G-Shocks or S-Shocks or my Skmees. You know, my Citizen Ultracron is probably about the same size. Uh, you know, it's there's a little bit, you know, the, the, the angle isn't so dramatic on the bands that it's it's hugging my wrist. I get a little bit of air, as you can see in between there. But overall, it fits pretty nicely. And actually, like I said, a little bit of air is kind of nice just to make sure that it's comfortable. It doesn't get too clammy on you. So uh, I think this is a, a really nice value. And if you're looking for kind of a, you know, an outdoor watch that can serve your uh, exploration needs and give you kind of that Suntu look, at a fraction of the price, check this one out. I'll put a link to it in the description. And, you know, like I said, if you're sticking around this long, let's hook up someone in the Panda Nation with this watch. So this OTS watch is gonna go out to someone here. And let's give it away on July 8th, 2017. Um, you know, so that way we don't interrupt your Independence Day and 4th of July celebrations here in the States. But uh, on July 8th, 2017, on that Saturday, I will pick one of the random commenters below. Uh, you have to live in the US or Canada to receive this because that's where I can afford to ship it to. So all you have to do to enter that is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then comment below what the country that you live in somewhere in the comments so that my random comment picker can, um, so that I can verify that uh, the random comment that gets picked uh, is, is in an eligible area. And then we'll put this bad boy on your wrist so that this summer, your adventures can be accompanied with this OTS Watch. Peter Von Panda, out.